as we have seen, the magician is the catalyst, is the facilitator, is the one who empowers the hero. For a brand like Kellogg's, which is targeted to heroes, in particular hero women, who wants to be at the top, who wants to be successful, who wants to have the energy to reach their goals and to be highly performing in all the level of their life. The hero to reach its hard goals needs to believe, to have a vision and needs the psychological sustenance, the psychological support of a magician which first of all helps the hero to believe that dreams can come true and to believe that it has the strength inside to reach its goals. The magician is a sort of personal trainer for the hero, is the one who helps the hero to find and maintain its willpower. In this sense, Kellogg's Special K is the one who empowers women towards their success. A perfect magician brand. The one of Coca-Cola is one of my favorite stories. Because Coke at the first sight could seem an innocent brand. It has symbols of optimism, this feeling good attitude typical of the American culture. This easiness, this happiness, uh, this cheerfulness in a very light-hearted sense. This association to Christmas time, this faith in goodness. Childhood um, symbols like the polar bear. Or even the new innovation with Coca-Cola Life could mm, wrongly be associated to the innocent. But Coca-Cola, it's not. If you think about the product which is dark and sugary and sparkling, if you think about the red color, in the DNA, the product is much more a Nero product, is really reinvigorating, providing energy. The brand attitude also is the one of a protagonist, a winning, performing, successful brand, supporting sport, events, uh, having aggressive price positioning. Since the beginning associated to winning soldiers during the Second World War, all this could mislead to a hero brand. Coke is neither an innocent nor a hero brand. Actually, Coke is a magician brand. And how can we find it? Well, if we go deeper, deeper into the history, the origins, the DNA of a brand, we find the real archetype. If we think about Coke, Coke has been invented by a pharmacist in Atlanta in 1886. It actually was a pharmaceutical drink, a brain tonic, something which changes your mood and your um, stages. It is a secret formula. It has always been a secret formula of happiness. And... The benefit of the drink is not only of refreshing, it's also of empowering at the same time. It's regenerating. Coke, as since 1931, has been always associated to Santa Claus symbol, which is a typical magician. Actually, Coke has invented Santa Claus character as we know him by now. 
with the association to Santa Claus, the message is very clear. Dreams can come true. And Koch has always been visionary in its communication. And always believed in a better tomorrow. In a better world. And if you want to change the world, you have to start changing the conscious, uh, consciousness of people. Not as a hero, as a magician works on the consciousness of people who will be the one, the protagonist, who will change the world. This message is very clear in the most recent social campaigns of Coke. Uh, the idea that if you want to build a better world, you have to start from people consciousness. Consciousness of what makes them happy. If they are happy, they are good people and they build a good world. Take the media, the guard campaign. It takes the social out of the media and put it back into your life. Like a sort of enlightenment, you rediscover the real relationship with the people you love. Or the uh, campaign against uh, cyberbullying, where you try to recover the self-esteem of people, of the positive relationship with people, and it says there is nothing more powerful than knowing in your heart that you can do something to bring positivity to change the world. And finally, some suggestions for this magic brand, which sometimes forgets to be a magician. So one opportunity could be to really share the DNA, the brand values in the company around the world. So to be sure that all these internal values are shared and communicated in a consistent way. A second opportunity could be in terms of innovation. Um, if Coke is not just a product, it's a brand, with, it's a magician brand. Actually, it's a brain tonic. It could be transformed into anything. Candies, snack bars, anything else. And finally, it's important that Coke sticks to its magician mission to help people find out the hero they have inside, to find the courage inside, to change the world, to build up a better world. This is something very strong at the emotional level and with a huge impact in terms of social responsibility. Good luck, Coke.